And all four installed for the Royal Lodge Stakes. White flag up, they're under orders and they're away. Rontino the first to show. Rontino going on from Hello Gorgeous, Star Way and Prince Bruce, the back marker of the quartet. Rontino and Willie Carson in the lead from Joe Mercer on Hello Gorgeous. Then Greville Starkey, Star Way. And finally, Pat Edery on Prince Bruce as they race towards the six furlong mark. Rontino from Hello Gorgeous and Star Way and Prince Bruce. Past the six marker, Rontino, Star Way and Hello Gorgeous and Prince Bruce. Racing towards the five, Rontino, Starway, Hello Gorgeous, and Prince Bruce. They're past the five marker, racing towards the half mile mark in the Royal Lodge Stakes, and it's still Rontino from Starway, Hello Gorgeous, and Prince Bruce. Racing into the home turn now, and it's Rontino still from Starway in second, Hello Gorgeous third, and Prince Bruce four. Round the turn and into the straight, and it's Rontino from Starway. Hello, Gorgeous. Hello, Gorgeous. Just uh, missed a stride there. Had to be slightly checked as they round the home turn. It's Rontino from Starway on the outside. Hello, Gorgeous. And then uh, Prince Bruce making a run towards the stand side. They're coming to the two furlong pole. Rontino and Starway together from Prince Bruce and Hello, Gorgeous. Rontino, Willie Carson. Starway, Grebel Starkey. Starway on the near side. Rontino on the far side. Starway on the near side with a fraction of advantage now from Rontino. But Hello, Gorgeous coming there with a strong run now. And it's Starway from Hello, Gorgeous and Rontino as they race into the closing stage of Starway from Hello Gorgeous and Hello Gorgeous just forging ahead as they come to the line, he's going to win it. Hello Gorgeous has won it from Starway second and Rontino third and Prince Bruce four. That was the result of the Royal Lodge Stakes. First uh, number three, Hello Gorgeous, owned by Mr Daniel Wildenstein, trained by Henry Cecil and written by Joe Mercer. Second was number seven, Starway, owned by Mrs. L. Glazer, trained by Paul Calloway and written by Grubber Starkey. And third was number six, Rontino, owned by Lady Beaverbrook, trained by Dick Hearn and written by Willie Carson. Fourth, of course, was number five, Prince Spruce. Would certainly have been an unlucky loser, this one. Just uh, lost his stride round in the home turn. Uh, Finally, um, switched to the outside, won in really good style to collect uh, a 33 to 1 quote for the 1980 derby from Corals, the tote from the Hill organization and from Ladbrokes. They're unanimous. Here he is. Hello, gorgeous. The winner of the Royal Lodge. How he got beat last time by VL. We'll never know. Anyway, Joe Mercer's third successive Royal Lodge. Here's how he won it as we see it again with Julian Wilson. And it was a fascinating replica of last year's tremendous finish with Alam Anamu getting up to beat Troy and Leafard's wish because uh, just as last year, two horses uh, battling stride to stride and perhaps almost cutting each other's throat. Rontino on the far side, Starway who came to challenge him, looked like beating him for a moment. At this stage, your Hello Gorgeous looked in trouble, but then Joe's pulled him out. Starway looked like winning here, but he's just wandered a little bit in the final furlong. You can see he's just drifted away to the left there, made things even harder for Joe Mercer on Hello Gorgeous. And perhaps Willie Carson was back in front again here on Rontino. But then he'd had enough, and here came Joe very late indeed in the last 50 yards. This horse really found, really quickened up. Just